Hey guys, MW Bricks here, and today we're going to be looking at an order from K Town Bricks. So let's dump all this stuff out. We'll also unbag it. Okay, welcome back. Sorry, I had to reset my phone as it died momentarily. So let me get back to pouring this stuff out. They're quite sealed in these bags, so it's a little bit of a difficult process. <laughs> and these, these bags are quite small, so it's quite the snug fit, should we say. Only a couple more. We're almost there. I actually think I'm missing something, though, but we'll see. We'll, we'll wait until we get everything poured out. Okay, so... What did I get, you might be asking. Let me get a pair of legs. Uh, these are random legs, but they'll have to do. So the first thing that I got, where's my little minifig stand? Here we are. The first thing that I got is this dog tag torso. Obviously the pants are random. So it's not 360, but it's a nice torso. Uh, and I've always wanted one that had dog, dog tags. Moving right along, second torso I got was this Napoleonic era British. Let's move this back to the middle. Napoleonic era British uh, officer, I believe, with the nice gold detailing. So obviously, I mean, you can already see it under, but it's not 360, but uh, the legs are 360. So that's interesting. Uh, but I mean, I really like this torso. I like the design a lot. Uh, you know, I thought I'd try a new company out, so that's why, you know, we have some stuff from them. So, next, actually, I need to get another stand because we have not one. I have to build another stand. Stay with me. <laughs> we have not one, but we have two of these English archers. I thought this was actually a pretty cool little medieval character, shall we say. Uh, I thought that why can I not snap his hands into... For some reason, I'm having great difficulty. Wow, okay. I'm having great difficulty getting his hands onto this bow. Oh, for some reason, it worked well on the left side. We're, we're not going to judge why, for some reason, it worked so much easier for both of them for me to put on the left hand. But it is what it is. Uh, moving that to the side. So you can see the figure better. Here we are. So, you know what? I don't... You know, I don't collect medieval stuff, but I thought that, you know what, K-Town Bricks, I feel their medieval, medieval stuff is kind of what they've made a name for themselves just a little bit so far, just because, you know, they make a lot of medieval bodies. I mean, I think that the thing that I was sad that I didn't get on this most recent drop was the Knights of Jerusalem, I believe that's what they were, which is a really cool kind of medium azure blue almost, and a nice golden yellow. These guys are really cool. These are English longbowmen. Uh, I thought that, you know, this was just a unique fig to have. Uh, very different from what I normally collect and use in stop motions and mocks. But, you know, you can see it here. Let's get a little closer. They're pretty cool. I think it's interesting that they went with the tan arms for them. Uh, I don't know how accurate that is, but, you know, it's something to consider. So, the final thing that I got was this guy which was a Gondor soldier from Lord of the Rings. And the unfortunate thing is he's supposed to come with a sword. And I think mine was just left out on accident. Uh, so I'll give you a full 360 view. Of course, it's not 360 degree printing on the torso, but it is an amazing shield. I mean, just look at that. I mean, that design is fantastic. This helmet is also, I mean, it's just spot on. Let me put them just on the ground so you can see the full effect. Let's see. It needs to refocus, of course. There we go. You can see this. It's just, it looks like it's straight off the film. I mean, it's pretty impressive. And then here, it slides off pretty easily. And then you can see he has just a normal looking face. We can slide it back on pretty easily. Uh, so here, I'm just going to give him a Brick Arms Claymore. Uh, not very accurate, but... You know, it'll, it'll do for now. So that's what he looks like. Uh, I'll put him on a little, his own separate stand since he's, you know, the most 
unique and interesting fig, I think, out of all of them. He gets, you know, the special place. <laughs> but here, there we are. Here's the full lineup of figs I got. Let's get into focus. There we are. Okay, so as I briefly went over now, uh, and I'll do it just one more time, uh, just for you guys, just for, you know, your own benefit and for you to be able to see what I got. I'll use this little antenna to point, but here, the first thing, let's actually tilt these a little bit so it's more straight on. There we go. Okay, so we have the dog tag torso, which will be great for Vietnam builds, anything Vietnam really. Then we have the Napoleonic era British officer. No head on either of them, of course, They're just torsos. This one has legs. And then we have two of the English longbowmen, which I think might be actually my favorite one out of the bunch. And then we have the one Gondor soldier who was unfortunately missing his sword. I'll contact them about that. But this is my first time uh, getting anything from K-Town. Uh, and I think that, you know, it, it turns out pretty good. Uh, I'll show a Brickmania fig just so you get some comparison on the type of printing that they do. So here are two mini figs. Let's get it to focus. As you can see, I think it's just different art styles. I actually think both of them look fantastic. Uh, as I said before, I think that Brickmania's figs are a little bit more artistic than some other companies. Uh, they use thicker lines. I think they use a little bit more vivid colors. It just looks, I don't know, it's, it, it just feels more art, artsy. <laughs> so it's a funny way to put it, but that's, I mean, that's the way that I think I would describe it. Uh, so that's it for the comparison. Uh, that's the full lineup you can see in the back there. I'm pleased with this order. I'll contact them about that sword. Maybe he doesn't come with it. I don't know. It was displayed on the website photo, so I presume it does. I assume that was just an oversight. Uh, but anyways, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Of course, this has been an M a MW Bricks video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the normal stuff. I appreciate it. Uh, today is a big Minifig Co. release, so I should be getting a lot of stuff from that that you know I'll be able to show you guys very shortly. I also have a lot of orders that have been essentially on back order with TMC just because they said that they had a printing problem uh, with one of the bodies that I ordered. So you guys will see what I ordered, presumably within the next two weeks, if that gets shipped out to me. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys stopping by. I already said this, but I'll repeat it. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the regular stuff. I appreciate all the support. And I'll catch you next time, guys. This is MW Bricks, and I'm signing out.